and Gross Second Substitute House Bill 1546 on third reading and final passage. Remarks? The gentleman from the 47th District, Representative Hargrove. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is a real pleasure to be here today. The best stories that we hear about uh, schools that I seem to hear everywhere I go is where uh, a school that, that made a dramatic turnaround was uh, where the parents and the teachers at the local level closest to the students were able to create a plan. They were able to innovate, come up with that plan, see it through, and because they had, had developed it and uh, were involved, uh, they see it to, uh, to through through to fruition, and uh, you see the great improvements that, that we have seen. Uh, we do have a lot of innovation going on in our state, and you've heard about that in previous testimony on, uh, on other bills, but I heard in committee several folks say that although they were doing great innovation, they could do more, and in some cases it was because the state was getting in the way, and we need to pave the way, get out of the way so that they can, uh, can make more happen. This bill uh, is a step in the right direction of providing the flexibility and encouraging the innovation necessary to make those uh, schools thrive. This can be a year where we make a positive step to make education better, whether it's closing the achievement gap, uh, making, uh, improving high school graduation rates, or underperforming schools. This is definitely a step in the right direction. I urge a yes vote, and this is a great way to get Washington working again.